Okay, the third part of uh, my uh, third tutorial of the 600V style uh, modeling. We'll continue on with the uh, with the car that we've been making. Now I'm just going to sort of concentrate on the wheels in this part because wheels can be uh, challenging in sometimes. Uh, so we'll click inside the component. Now inside this component, what I'll do is I'll just scroll along to the side here and I'll press C for circle and you can see how as I move the uh, circle uh, operation around you can see it goes blue for the blue axis or red I want to uh, draw a red one so I'll hold the shift key and I can and it will keep that red uh, it will keep the red axis circle there so I can draw it anywhere I want so I'm just going to draw it over here and we'll see that I've drawn a circle there so I'll press space to go back to select zoom in I'm going to select the edge. Now I like to go to entity info and sort of make it a little bit more, um, a better resolution. So I change those segments from 24 to something like 36 or 48 or something like that. Just so it looks a little bit, uh, a bit, a bit rounder. Straight away I press the L button for line and I draw a line straight out from the center because this is quite um, handy for when you need to do rotational uh, operations. So the first thing I'm going to do is press L again and I'm just going to check that that is indeed the top point of that circle and I'll just draw it out to the edge there and I'll press L again down there and around about there and I'll extend this line out a little bit as well and erase that one. So I've made like a, a uh, rectangle coming off the circle there this is going to be our um, our rim effectively so I'll just show you what I generally do I'll make quite a deep dish rim to, to begin with Okay, so that that's our rim. I'll just finish off this the end section. Generally, I don't bother with the back of the rim too much because just the front that we're looking at. But anyway, so you'll select that uh, circle there, and we'll just press the Follow Me tool and complete that rim around there like that. At this stage, I triple click, so I've got the whole rim, and I right click and make that a component. So that's sitting there as a component. Now I want to put a couple of spokes and things in there, make it a bit more interesting. So I'm going to double click in the component and I'm going to just draw a rectangle here. Push pull this and maybe scale this out. And I'm just going to use the round corners plug-in here. Now I'll touch on the round corners plug-in a bit later on how to use it, but just bear with me while I just use it and not tell you how to use it. <laughs> okay, so just make some sort of interesting shape here. Okay, so that seems to be my shape there. Now what I'll do is I'll also make that a component as well. So I'm grabbing the, I'll press M and I'll grab the midsection holding the Alt key and I'll click on it and I want to bring that right to the center of where the circle is there like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just press M and, and again move this up higher and I may even start to rotate uh, this just for a uh, bit of an effect here and I might stretch it a little bit when I can find these parts Okay, and I might just keep 
keep keep trying to rotate this around until I'm happy with it. And perhaps move it up a tad. Holding that Alt key so that it sort of follows that blue axis. So now that I've got that moved into the spot I want, I'll press Q, which is my um, rotation tool, and I'll go right in the middle of that uh, circle, press the control button for plus, so we can uh, make more instances of this uh, component, left click, and what I need to do is find, find the middle section, which is probably just about there. Now I'll left click, zoom out again and as I rotate this around keep an eye on that angle down the bottom of, of what you would like it to be so I might just choose 72 and you have to sort of persist there and I'll click 72 there now I'll go shift 8 for times and I'll times 4 more to make a star so there's our sort of star there don't worry about that sticking out of the rim at the moment we can clean that up a little bit later um, so that's sort of yeah, the style of ring that I was going to go for. Um, what we can do, let's just have a look what it looks like if we erase this. Might look a bit rubbish, but we'll see. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that so we can see through the rim as well. Looks pretty interesting there. Okay, so fixing this sticking out here now, if you like, we can literally just press L and just trace along where it intersects the rim in the component. Bear in mind that this is affecting every single component uh, instance so we'll just erase this section and that's gone from sticking out of the rim there. Now just to show you these different colored these faces, I tend to always like the same colored faces facing up so I'm just going to shift and click all these sort of blue colored faces and right click reverse faces so that they're all white again just makes it look a little bit cleaner there and we'll click outside so there's our rim made now as for making tires what we'll do is again we'll press the L key and we'll we'll look to see which is the uh, the topmost point there and it looks to be sort of uh, that one there I'd say so make a line there like that and now I'm drawing on top of this component but I'm not drawing inside the component because we want to keep the tire and the rim separate so I'm, again I'm going to do a um, some sort of rectangle here and I'll just try and sort of generally make like a, a tire profile-y sort of looking thing something like this and uh, some sort of arc or something, I don't know. We're just doing this quickly. Just to uh, demonstrate to you how you do the technique. It doesn't necessarily need to be perfect. Um, sometimes I like to make a little cutout here, so I'll double click, press M, press plus, uh, control for plus, move it along and erase that there. Just different little shortcuts. So I'll select the outside of that circle, press the follow me button, and complete that around to make your uh, tire. Now again I'll triple click that and right click and make that a component so that we can then go in and start modifying and making some tread if we like those kind of things. These these bits sort of sticking out here like you know it's no problem we can you know you can erase them later but it's just good to keep them there and this line for if whatever modifications you want to do to this rim. So I'm just going to select all of those and go right click make that component as well because we want to include those parts in the component. And then I'm just going to test fit and move, oh hang on, what's happening here? I'll just control Z, sorry, let's make that a component again. So I'll select that component, holding shift, select this component double click on that and select the line and make that whole thing a component that's a little bit better now we'll press move and move these along and you can see there was a bit of uh, an artifact left over there we just erase that again move holding the alt key and there's our wheel it's quite small for the arch so I'll press S for scale 
S for scale and just sort of enlarge it there and M to move to fit it back again again using that alt key to maintain that uh, following that axis and we can just sort of shove it inside the car here something along those lines and we can press M control again to move another set and create these as our back wheels as well so there you go we can see we've made some wheels and it's looking pretty cool um, what I'll do that this will be the end of this tutorial and the next tutorial I'll I sort of won't really talk much um, but I'll just let it play and just you can watch how I add detail to the car and any time I want to elaborate I'll just sort of speak a little bit but um, and we'll go from there so uh, yeah thank you very much